Hello, how can I help you today? Oh, my three o'clock, right. Okay, well, it's very nice to meet you. My name is Diamond. Of course, I'm going to be doing your makeup. I have the pleasure of doing so. Now, I just like to ask my new clients, how exactly did you find me? Oh, you saw my Groupon deal. <laughs> Good, I'm glad to hear that. Was there any reviews for this place? No? Well, well, thanks for coming, even though you don't know what to expect. I would like to say that I am the highest rated and the best makeup artist in this entire city. But when I was at my old location, this is just a backstory. When I was at my old location, I was constantly getting negative reviews. And I don't know why, because everybody would leave looking absolutely beautiful. And they would tell me that they liked their makeup. I would say, is everything okay? Do you need me to change anything? And they'd say, no girl, I love it. And then I would check and there'd be a one star review and people would say, if I could give zero stars, I would. So I'm not really sure what that was about. But anyway, thanks for being here. Now don't mind me, I'm kind of a little in between shifty shifty right now and my makeup bag is not with me so I do just have this little gift bag um, you know just some hair but I have this little gift bag full of the makeup that I'll be using on you could you just tell me what kind of look you're going for? let me set this down what kind of look? Do you have an inspo pick or do you just like have a color scheme? So pink, bold. Do you like sparkles? Okay, I have just the thing. So I'm kind of limited on what I have to work with today, I will be honest, but that's not to be of any concern. We work with what we got, and I'm the master of working with what I got, so we're all right. Now, I'm just going to wipe your face off. Let me see. And this is just to prep your skin. So I have this clean little towel here, brand new out of the washer, as you can tell. And just a little bit damp. It didn't dry all the way. The dryer is kind of busted and you have to put the cycle on 10, 11 times to really get it to work. So you will feel some dampness, but should smell good. Maybe just a tiny little bit like mildew, but hopefully that won't linger. All right. I'm just cleaning off. Do you have any moisturizer on or anything? No? Okay. And close your eye. I'm going swipe. Swipe. Good. And right here on your nose. Should do it. Okay, got my color switch. I guess we will start by doing your eyes. Now, I don't have any um, eyeshadow primer. I've been out of that for months. But what I do want to do is put some tape on. That's actually how I achieved this look today. What do you think of my makeup? Oh, you do like it? This is actually a pretty advanced look for me. I was watching a YouTube tutorial while I did this, and I thought that it came out perfectly. But one thing about me is I cannot do symmetrical without tape. So if I try to do your eyes, I mean, even, even with tape, let's be honest, it's kind of hard. But if I were to try to just do your makeup, no tape on the ends to get that crisp line, You'd have one going this way and one going that way. So I will put some tape on you. 
Um, just some scotch tape here. Oh, hello, another piece of hair. Probably from my last client. But, what I wanted to mention is because I don't have any primer, there's a chance that the beautiful pink pigments that we use on you are gonna stain. You're gonna have to walk around like you have pink eye for a day or two. We've all been there. That was me a few days ago. So, you know, no big deal. Whatever, right? Oh, darn. I just folded that under. I'm just trying to get some of my oils from my finger onto the tape. And that way it doesn't rip your skin when we go to take it off. So I'm just putting a bunch of fingerprints and grease on there, pretty much. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna lay this on the outer corner of your eye. And good. Same thing on the other side. Have you ever had this method done before? Really? Oh wow. I'm surprised. I'm probably the only person that does it, maybe. Just another reason why everyone should come to me. I told you I'm the best. I have all the tips and tricks and everything. Alright, let's see. I'll put this on the outer end of your eye. Stick, 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 stick. That's good. Pretty close. If anything, sometimes what you have to do is just take like a Q-tip, you just like lick it really quick, and then you go doop, and you slide it. And it'll take off any extra. So we'll even them out, don't worry. Okay, now we need, let me put this away. Let's see what we have for color choices. Uh, just have some powder foundation that we'll be using later. This definitely isn't your color, but don't worry. What I say is, you can always fix with toner, or not toner. What is that called? Um, it's like contour and highlight. Contour? Bronzer? Bronzer. That's the word I'm looking for. You can always fix and darken with bronzer, or if it's too pale for you, or too dark, you just slap on some finishing powder, lighten it up. You gotta do what works. I've done it all. Baby powder sometimes to get it really light, because even my porcelain foundation was too yellow for some beautiful lady I had one day beautiful, almost white, white, paper white skin. Oh, lovely. But even then, that foundation, the porcelain, was too yellow, too dark. So we just had to mix it with some baby powder. Looked a little cakey. She liked it. Oh, I thought she did. Oh, good. Only one of the um, shadows is missing from this palette. So I'm thinking we could do like Moonstruck. Moonstruck, which is this one, Moonstruck. Um, that's a nice bright pink. Let me see what else I have. This is the Ooh La La palette. I set this right here. This one might work for us as well. This is the Love Bird palette. Are you in love? Do you have a significant other? Oh, how nice. So these are going to be more of like our dusty pink, then like deeper plums and some glitters, glitters, but that's not too, too bright pink. You need bold. Let me see what this is. This little cloud spun palette. Okay, this would work. What color is this? Bonbon. Bonbon would work. Glow pop. Glow pop. You definitely need to glow. I like bonbon. Let me see what else I got here, babe. One second. I have this pressed glitters palette by ColourPop. Look at that. These are like all of the pressed glitters. Aren't they nice? Maybe we could use that. We might, but none of them are really pink. That one's like purplish. So probably not that one. Let me see about this last one. I'm actually wearing this one right now. This is the Spongebob palette. I'm wearing the purple. Ooh, listen to that crackle. 
one more time. <laughs> and these are the colors in there. We might be able to get away with this color right here for you. That is Penny Pincher. Mm -hmm. I still like Bon Bon for you. I like Bon Bon and I like... What was the first one I said? Let's see. From the Ooh La La. Oh, Moonstruck. So maybe we'll do Moonstruck and Bon Bon because I have a perfect lip color for you that you're gonna love. It's bright pink. Not for the faint of heart at all. Which I can tell you're not. And you're bold and amazing. So let's do it. Alright, set this down. Let me find a brush. Mm, this one's just a little bit dirty with some hairs and lints and fibers. Sorry. Oh no. This and uh, no. I guess we're gonna have to use this flat brush. We're gonna really like pack on the color. And where's my color switch? Do you know what a color switch is? I swear I'm the only makeup artist in this area that uses it. Look at that. You just roll your brush around on it and it takes all that dirty color off. Pretty sure you're supposed to wash this part of it, but I've had it for like two years, three years, never washed it. So I don't know, but let's see. We're gonna go in with Moonstruck. Now don't be surprised, probably gonna be quite a bit of fallout from this one. This one is a pretty bold and beautiful color, but if you do have fallout on your cheek, we'll try to dust that off before we put the foundation on, and that way you don't have a pink tint to your skin underneath, but it's pretty pigmented. Alright, let's see, I'm gonna start on this eye first. And I'm gonna really focus this color, like, on the outer end of your eye, going up towards the edge of the tape same shape that I have right now. And then we're just going to blend it ever so slightly. I like that super harsh line look. Do you? Let me do this side. Oh, you like it more blended? Okay, well, I'm just going to blend a little bit. I know it looks best. And I wanted to ask you, so for foundation, I'm one of those people that believes in, like, cakey, super, like, I don't want to say crusty, but that kind of is the word that I'm looking for, because I feel like when you spend all your time putting makeup on, or you're getting your makeup done, you want people to know that you're wearing makeup. And if you don't have that, like, flaky, patchy spottiness of, like, super caked-on foundation, how will they know you're wearing makeup? So, I always like to add a couple layers. A little bit thick, I know it's out of the norm. But like I said, I'm different than every other makeup artist in this city. Do things my own way. I do them the right way, the best way, in my opinion. And that's why I have so many clients, like you, who get to come enjoy and just leave with a beautiful face of makeup. Caked on, bold makeup. I specialize in bold colors. Sometimes they do get a little messy, but that's okay. That's, you know, more fun. A little bit more right here. Same thing on the other eye. Like, look how this is all just getting everywhere on the palette. Ugh. Get out of here. Good. Oh, also, I do apologize. I sucked down three large Cokes from McDonald's for lunch. Oh, you know, it's quite hot, as we know. It's summer. But I don't drink water. I only drink Coke. And so, 
I had three because I was just like so parched and thirsty and now my stomach is just kind of like making a little bubbling, rumbling noises. So if you do hear that, I apologize and I wish there was something that I could do, but I can't. Unless you want to take me to the hospital and have my stomach removed. Oh, where's that other color? Was it in Ooh La La or Lovebird? No, it's not this one. Where is it? Must be in the cloud spun. There it is, Bon Bon. We're gonna use Bon Bon for the inner corner of your eye. Let me use my color switch. Oh, look at all that pigment just flying off there, right into our lungs. Oh, nothing to see here. I'm just breathing in a bunch of cancer causing pigment particles. It's probably why my head always hurts. Alright. I'm gonna use this little other side, I think. We're gonna dip into Bon Bon. Doop, 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 doop. Pretty similar to what you have on now. We'll get a little bit of this pillow mint. Pillow mint. What is a pillow mint? Why would they name it that? Alright, come on. We're here on the inner third of your eye. We're putting this one. I'm getting a little bit of fallout down into the bottom lash line, but I'll clean that up with a Q-tip. Okay. We're going to take a little bit of that sparkly shade in the front. Let me dust off my brush on this little rag. Okay, I guess we're taking pillow mint. Very pretty shimmery. Oh yeah, I love that. I'm kind of just like stippling it along right here on the inner third. Making it super pretty. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna also use Bon Bon to do your waterline underneath your eye. Most times when I do this to my clients, they'll get a big string of color across their eyeball. That's that, like, do you see how this loose pigment is just sitting on top there? It gets like flaky and powdery and it'll just shoot into the eye when you're doing the lower lash line. Don't be alarmed. I will just take a dry Q-tip and just roll it across your eyeball. It does kind of burn a little bit, but beauty hurts. We're always doing something to look good, something painful. So don't worry, I'll get it out as soon as I can. Let me find the appropriate size brush. Oh, I don't see a small brush, so we're just gonna have to use a Q-tip. Sorry about that. I don't have any water. Oh, piece of hair. I don't have any water to wet this. So I just had to lick it, but don't worry, I'm barely gonna touch it to your skin, so it's not gonna be a big deal. Perfect. What I want you to do is look up and I'm going to run this along your lower lash line. We'll start with this eye first, okay? Look up like this, like roll your eyes up as far as you can, like you can't go no more. Perfect. Ooh, there's a little bit getting in your eye. I'm trying to just keep your eye open. Let me get the other one, and then I'll get that powder out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bear with me. Look up all the way. Good, let's do this eye. Good, okay. Oh no, your eyes are watering. We don't want to mess up my beautiful art. I'm going to put this in the inner corner of your eye. Good. 
good. No, it's getting it out. Twist, 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 twist. Okay, let me do this side. Twist, 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 twist. Sorry. There, that should be getting all of that powder out. How does that feel now? Better? Blink a few times. Crying pink tears. Oh my goodness. Must have gone a little bit more than usual in there. Feels okay? Are you okay? Okay, then we can continue. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take off this tape. And this side. Good. So those look decently even. And we need some liner. Now, I'm not the best at doing winged liner specifically, but I will do my best and make it as symmetrical as possible. I have this, which is a liner and eyelash glue in one. So I'm going to do some mascara on you first. It's kind of taboo. You don't want to do mascara and then liner, but we're going to do it today because nobody needs to know. Oh no. I thought I forgot the mascara. I was going to say, we'll just have to use the eyeliner as mascara. Since it has that glue, it probably would work. Alright, look up just a little bit, like not too too high, but like maybe like right here. A little bit more. Good. I'm just gonna swipe. Swipe. Just a little bit for the lashes to hang on. I guess I should get the lashes out. So we can have them ready to stick on. This liner dries quickly. Very, very quickly and you have to hurry or else it's dry and the glue will not be tacky for the lashes to stick. Let me see what I have here for lashes. Probably not this one. This one's blue and there's a stray lash in there. Uh, this one's missing a lash. So definitely not that one. How about these big ones? Don't mind that third one in the middle. Do you want to do like a super bold pair of lashes? Oops. Like these bad boys right here? What you think? No, I think they'll look good. Let's do it. They'll look amazing. No worries. No, your eyes aren't too small at all. I have very small eyes and I can't wear those, but you, you have completely different eyes. It's going to look good. And even if it doesn't, it's still going to look good. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of those things. Alright, let's do the liner. We're going to have to be careful when we do your brows then because we don't want to get foundation in the lashes because they probably will be touching. So we'll just take it slow. Alright, come on. Sorry, I always get nervous when I go to do this. My hand starts shaking. Oh, come on, hand, stop it. Sorry, I just need a second. Um, okay, I'm just gonna really hold my hand still. This will just be a new look instead of a super smooth line. You're gonna have a wiggle liner. The lashes were gonna cover it up anyway. You'll probably barely be able to tell. Okay, let's see this other eye. Ah, oh, it's already a bit too.
Just bear with me, almost done. Uh, okay. I was hoping that would go a little bit better, but no worries. Let's just put these lashes on already. Look down like this, down at your nose or the floor. I'm going to set these down from on top. Your eye closed because they're gonna fall off if you open. Oops. Come on. How does that feel? Is it hurting or poking your inner corner? Okay, just keep your eyes closed for now. Just for a few while that dries and sets so that it doesn't simply slide down your face. <sighs> Let me see. Let's do some brows. <clears throat> Hopefully I have that right brow brown. Okay, you can open. Perfect. This is the only palette that I have that has even remotely eyebrow shades. So hopefully, this is the right one. Okay, good. You're going to be using this dark brown shade right here on your brows. But you have very full brows. Very nice, by the way. So it won't take much to fill them in. Thank God, because I am not the type of artist that can do that super slick, perfect, dark, amazing, flawless brow. And I can't cut brows to save my life. So I just fill them in like feathery, do the best I can, and move on. Okay, I guess we'll use this pencil. Or brush, whatever it's called. Pencil. Alright, dip, 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 dip. All right, I'm going to do this brow first. I'm just going to kind of follow the shape you already have because I am not good at creating a new one <laughs> at all. But I am just going to drag your tail down quite a bit. You're going to elongate these brows. Your tips like right here, I'm going to bring it down to like right here. I know it's kind of like on your temple if I bring it down that far. But trust me, it's going to look good because it's going to almost connect to the wing of your liner. <laughs> you know that's a vibe. Hmm, this brow is a little bit different than the other one. That's how mine are too. Struggle every day trying to fill them in because I have to create a shape that's not there and that's not my forte or my strong suit. Okay, let's just extend your tail. Ooh, that might be too long. Turn that way. Yeah, that's okay actually. Good, I'm glad we only had to do a little bit on the brows. Whew. Let me find my spoolie brush. That's not it. Here it is. Just a little bit of fuzz and gunk in there, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna go back and forth. And just to blend out, because I don't want you to have super boxy brows. Just a little bit boxy. Sorry, probably doing that a little hard. Your skin's turning pink underneath. 
Okay, let me see. What do we need to do? We need to do your foundation. I think I'm just going to brush some found some powder foundation on you. I have this brush which works really well. Um, you know, don't mind any of that clumps of cat hair. Uh, so we have that and we have this. Usually this brush would be something for like liquid, but I find that if you just take some big swipes on the powder and then run it on the face, it gives it that nice cakey, full coverage look. I'm assuming we're going full coverage. Okay, full coverage with powder. It's easy to do. So let me see. I can also do with this very brand new what's this called sponge so let's try it with this first oh and also i'm gonna take a little bit of this on a q-tip and try to cover up that little bit of pink under your eyes good just to get that fallout because i don't have any water sorry like mentioned so we're just gonna kind of conceal that up Maybe if I had, it's still a little red under there. I have some green eyeshadow. We're gonna put green on it. Didn't you ever hear of color correcting? If we just throw some green under there, it's gonna cancel that red. Don't worry. I have saved the day with my thoughts. Ooh, that's like a teal green that I have. Oh, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna put it on. Oh, it's metallic-y. I need a little bit, so hopefully it's not too big of a deal. A little bit more. Okay, now we're gonna just Put the powder foundation on and hope for the best. That's basically what I do with every makeup look. I just start and hope for the best. Alright. Gotta get that just a little damp so the powder sticks. Look at that. That's a little trick. Oh yeah, that's full coverage. Shoop, shoop, shoop. So what I'm doing basically is just painting this on your face, covering everything. And then I'll probably go in with like this little tiny flat brush. It's like, I'll show you. It's just this, it's like a foundation brush, but it's flat on top. And if we go in and just do a circle, circle, circle. It'll, like, blend any lines that we get from the edges of the brush. <sighs> Above your brows. I'm gonna get as close as I can to them, but like I said, I don't really shape and cut brows out like that, especially not with concealer. So, there might be, like, a little space between the foundation and then your skin and then the brow. I apologize. I can't always make it perfect. Definitely need to darken this <sighs> just a little bit with some bronzer. And I'm just gonna smear this over your lips. Doop, 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 doop. We'll come back and clean that up with a q tip. In between your brows. Shoo. I'd say just a little bit more on the temple on this side. And maybe on this side too. Good. Um, no, I don't ever blend down the neck. Putting it on your neck gives you blocked pores and pimples that you don't need. If there's a little color difference in color between the face and the neck, 
You just got a little sun kissed, that's all. But if it's brighter than your neck, flashback from the camera. No, that's it. It's okay. It's really not needed. You don't need to put it on your neck. Uh, it's a waste of product, too. Okay, so now I'm going to take this brush. Oh, uh, about a hundred pieces of cat hair on it. And I'm just going to blend, okay? I also feel like there's some hair in my lip gloss. Perfect. You can barely even see that green and pink under the eyes now. See? I knew that color correction would work, even with it being metallic. Good enough. Now a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to put on some lip gloss. Actually, I have a lipstick for you. I'm going to take this fluffy brush here and some e.l.f. bronzer and we are just going to get a lot. We want it to look like you've been in the sun all damn week. Even more. here on the jawline, chin. And then just close your eyes. I'm going to dust this kind of all around, just avoiding your eyes. Flawless. We will give you also a little bit of some highlight on the cheek. I have a Fenty Beauty one. Love that hair here on there. This one's called Chills. I think I'm wearing it today. And it is this blue color. It's like icy blue. And we're gonna put some of that on you. You are Barbie and Ken today. Pink and blue. Even more. More for you. that. And now finally, I have the perfect lipstick for you. This one here, it's quite a few years old. Um, as you can see, it's been through some stuff, has rhinestones on it from sitting in the bottom of the makeup bag. This is Diva by Jeffree Star. Why? What happened with Jeffree Star? Are you pulling my leg? I did not hear about that. Ah, I am repulsed. Well, as you can see, it's pretty dried up anyway. So we're just going to use what we can and just milk it till it's gone. But we will never be buying any more then, I guess. Alright, come on. Let's put it on. Is this even coming out? Uh oh, that's not a good sign. To scrape the side of the tube as hard as I can. We'll just make it last as long as we can, and then we'll put some gloss on to stretch the color. Come on. Slap this on all dry down, crusty. Hope your lips aren't dry, because this is gonna peel them up, boy, oh boy. Do this about 20 more times. <laughs> Try to spread that color around. This is junk. Okay. No, that's not it. We're just gonna use this gloss. This is an amazing gloss. And it has a pink tint. So it will be okay to go on top of what you're already wearing. Look. Nice and pink. Smells like the juiciest, freshest watermelon ever. Oh, you know this brand? A Marvelous Aesthetics? Yeah, 
best lip glosses in the world. Come on. Let's put some on. Yep. This is exactly what this look needed. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I could just smell this all day. Go ahead and roll. Perfect, my darling. You look amazing. Bold eyes, bold lip, flawless skin, caked on foundation. <laughs> Just how I like it. Well, that is all for me today. You said you're going to pay me on Venmo the rest, right? You already sent the 15 deposit. Okay, it's just going to be 60 on top of what you sent me. What do you think? Do you feel so amazing and beautiful? Yeah, you should. You look great. Just a little minor defects in the makeup, but to be expected. Alright, well, thank you so much. I hope that you've enjoyed your experience, and I hope you can see why I'm the best artist in this city for makeup. Hopefully you leave a five-star review, and I hope to see you again. Tell your friends if they need makeup. Come see Diamond. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.